Hello good day, in my previous video I had shared on what I am doing now on Alibaba and NEO. As we move into August, I will be changing my trading style to go along with the rhythm of the market pulse. Therefore, I am going to share the market pulse and where money flow is moving. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can share with you my latest updates and provide free content to more audience. Your support will be well appreciated. Let's go. A recap. You can see that I started to add Hang Seng stock on July 15th, while most of my US stock positions has either been called away by options or sold. Predominantly, my holding on Coinbase and Cloudflare are now off from my portfolio. As for July 21st, 2023, I had continued to add on Alibaba and Neo. Next, I had added on Lion OCBC Hang Seng ETF tech stock on July 24, 2023. If you are looking at news, you will observe many news that portray that China stocks are mostly tumbled, going to tumble or in tumbling price action. The adding of the Hang Seng and China stocks were a calculated move and as of to date we have seen a full rally for the past few days in both Hong Kong and China stocks. Coupled with many hours of analysis of many charts and also the money flow price action, let's go into a new which caught my attention. Let's go. For China bond markets, we have seen foreign investors increase their exposure to China market since last month. In fact, I am observing that Asian market has an overall increase of foreign bond investors. This is a start of four green bars for the longest time since foreigners pull a net $86 billions out of China. Coupled with price action observed over multiple charts, I had decided to add my final purchase into Lion OCBC Hang Seng ETF. I had also shared my views in Global Trading Forum on my views on both Alibaba and Neo that these two stocks are bullish on July 24 and recommend the shortest to cover their short. As my channel is mostly for short-term trading, please do subscribe, like and comments so that you will get my latest analysis. Let's go into Hang Seng chart. Hang Seng has now in consolidation phase follows by the last October to Chinese New Year rally. There is much to do and monitor the price action of Hang Seng in the next two to three weeks extended to mid-August before new formation of trend to be seen. As for NASDAQ, it will probably going to take a breather before, it decide to take up a second box channel formation. This formation will probably be clearer after October. Nevertheless, I will be putting my focus in analyzing the data over the weekend so that I can increase the probability of each trade. Meantime, I will continue to do my instant noodle dividend by selling puts and calls option on Virtual World and Alibaba. For example, on the credit collected of $290 for the first three days of the weeks. In summary, I am mostly out of USA stocks. I have fully positioned into Hang Seng and China stocks and will be looking into exit points. As of early this year, I am pretty confident that Fed won't be reducing interest rate despite the call from numerous articles. Although the article provided very logical data to support the reduction of interest. However, the price action from many charts observed otherwise. My take is Fed will probably hike interest up to 6% by end of the years, which means we will be seeing another 0.5% hike. Thus, recession probability is not high. In order to get my latest analysis on stocks, please do like, share and subscribe so that i can share with you on my trade preparation by the way these are non-financial advice and it is just used to monitor my own trading from intraday to four weeks duration thank you